Hi everyone, uh, Darren Connell here. I hope you're all doing well. This is just a short video, shorter than the last video. I actually mean it this time, this is going to be a short video. Uh, in the last video, I was talking about the fact that I was going to be replacing, at uh, first temporarily and then hopefully full time, replacing the paints that I currently use, the ones that you've all seen me work with on my videos, especially if you're on Patreon, you'll have seen me work with these every week. And I've been using these particular paints, these brands, this brand, for the last 11 years since I started doing this work. And I've developed, developed, oh my God, I can't even talk today. I have developed and built up my techniques using these particular paints. So I understand these colors. I understand how these paints flow. I know what I need to do to get certain results. I know these paints, but I seem to be the only person in the world out of all of you who watch me that uses these paints because they're not a popular brand. You can't get them everywhere. I buy them here in Liverpool in my local art shop. There seems to be one website where you can buy them online, but it's not a very good website. It seems to be like a little tiny place and it's a weird ordering system. Basically, nobody uses these. So anytime I'm doing my tutorials and I say, well, I'm going to take some bright red and add some blue gray into it. All of you are watching are getting to see me paint and that can be useful by itself. But in terms of the colors, you're all sitting there going, we don't know what that is. So what I decided to do was to find out what seemed to be the most popular paint brand that everybody out there uses. Went to a load of websites, watched a load of YouTube videos, spoke to people who watch my videos. And there were a few. And I would like to do all of them and maybe one day I will. But for now, uh, Vallejo paints seem to be the most popular ones. And certainly what the ones that most people have easy access to. Because I got all these off Amazon and they turned up within a few days. So what I decided to do would be and I explained this in the last video, you may not have seen that because I know some people skip videos. I said that I would not completely change what I do because I've got, at the moment, I think I've got about 17 commissions on the go and I'm not going to change to a different brand of paint halfway through that because I don't want to mess things up. And my commissions getting to the clients um, as as, as well painted as they can be is the most important thing. So that's going to continue with the paints that I know. What I'm going to do though at some point is take a head of some kind. I don't know if it'll be one of my own. It might be a commission and I will paint that one head using the new paints from start to finish. And you will get to see me completely cock, th cock things up because I will, because I'll get things wrong because I won't know what I'm doing because these are all going to be different. But I will muddle through and you'll get to see how if I make mistakes, how I correct them. Um, and if I realize a color is slightly wrong, how I fix that to get it to how we need it to be. And I will do that whole process here on YouTube. Normally my full tutorials go on Patreon, but for this, I figured this would be a good one, testing these new paints to do on YouTube so everyone can see. And then if that works, all of my future tutorials will be done, hopefully with the new paints, because then I can say, okay, because a lot of people paint along with me, but painting their own, um, their own pieces, their own action figures or their own statues. And they will watch me paint and use the same techniques to paint their own items. And I've had a lot of people sending me photos saying, I followed your techniques. Here's the thing that I painted. Oh my God, it's so much better now that I did what you did. And that's wonderful, but it's going to be even easier for people to follow along and paint how I'm painting if I can say, Right, for this next bit, you're going to get flat red and basic skin. And people will be able to get the exact same paints. These ones. So, it could be good. Now, over the last few days, I had a few deliveries of all of these paints that I'd ordered. 
Uh, and thank you again, Ben Solis, for being just about the kindest person ever. Um, ben is someone, he's one of my patrons who um, <laughs> bought me, I mentioned a while back that I needed some new paintbrushes, and he ordered me to set up an Amazon wish list of the brushes that I would want to use, and he bought all of them for me. And then when I was talking about paints, he told me to do the same thing. He said he wanted to buy some paints for me and said, don't argue, I'm going to do this. Let me buy you some paints. So I'm using that to be able to try these new ones and hopefully make the tutorials more connectable to you guys who will be able to follow with exactly the same paints. So thank you, Ben, for all of this. You are helping me and you are probably helping everyone who watches me because they will be able to use exactly the same paints. So I've had a few deliveries over the last few days and I've put them all in a bag just to keep them in the same place. But whoa, lots of paints. Where's the thing? <laughs> there you go. So I've got all of these paints and what I did when I ordered them was I took the 10 or 12 colours, the 10 or 12 colours, that crinkly bag was probably very loud on my microphone, so apologise if it was. Apologise? Apologies. I apologise. Some words. Um, I used, this came with the paints, and there was a version online that I looked at. This is the colour chart. This is what they sell. This is, I can't get over how many paints they sell All right that's everything that they sell in that range i use usually 10 paints maybe 12 occasionally but most of the colors i use is like eight or ten same colors and they sell hundreds and to me it seems crazy because there'd be like eight shades of blue and they're hardly different i'd be like well if you want that one just put some gray in it but clearly for a lot of people, it's easy if they can just go, well, I know to do this particular thing, I take this particular. So it's easy for a lot of people. It's not what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be mixing my own colours the same way I do with my existing paints. I'll just be using new paint, but it'll be interesting trying to find out what's the consistency like? What's, how do they flow? How much do I need to water them down? All of that stuff's going to be completely brand new to me. And also... It's going to be different because the way I normally work, these paints, the little pots, take the lid off. And normally when I'm actually working, I will leave the lid off and just leave the paint sat on my desk and I'll get my brush and I'll just dip it in, put some on the easel, mix it down. If I need some more, dip some more in and I will dip between the pots because it's a nice quick way of just grabbing the colour. And it can sometimes make the paint a bit messy inside, but I just scoop it out. It's fine. But it's a nice... For me, quick way of working, having all the pots of paint open. Now, with these new ones, they've got like dropper tops. You can't do that because they're like that. Now, to me, that is horrific. <laughs> That's like putting a padlock on something or a pair of handcuffs or something. It's like, I can't work now. How am I supposed to work with that? So that's a thing that I'll have to get used to, dropping out paint onto the thing and then working with it. That's, that just seems horrible. I want my I want my pots of paint open like that so I can just dip into it. I will get used to it. It's worth it if it means that you guys who are painting along with me can follow what I'm doing and can work easier and better for yourselves because you know exactly what colours to use. So it's worth it. You see the sacrifices I'm making? You see how hard all the work I have to do? For you. <laughs> no, but it'll, it'll be all right. But what I did, I used the colour chart on the website and I picked out the 10 or 12 colours that I normally use. And I, I know it's going to be different in some cases because looking at colours on a screen is going to be different to how paints look in person and different again to how they dry. But what I did is I estimated the closest I thought I could get to looking at the colours on the chart, say for bright red, what paint in their range of colours would be that. And I looked on the colour chart on the website and looked at all the different reds and I thought that one might be quite close and I ordered that. 
So I ordered a bunch of colours that I thought would be good replacements for the colours I use. And hopefully, with most of them, it'll, it'll just be a case of, okay, there's a brown, or there's a grey, there's a grey of mine. They're kind of similar, we can just carry on working, and that's great. In some cases, I may use it and go, you know what, that's a completely different red, I'll try a different one. Um, or I will just adjust how I work, I'll maybe add some blue to it, or add some brown to it, or do something different. But, that's the, the first thing that I did, just to replace the colours that I use. And most of my skin work is done with two shades of skin. It's called Tanned Flesh and Pale Flesh. And that's what they come in, they're just that colour. A sort of peachy, orangey skin colour. It's not really skin colour at all, but it's it's a peachy, orangey, browny colour. And a pale, it's almost like cream, like a yellowy cream. And they're the two colours that I do everything with. And I will add to them, I will do some colours with them, do a base coat of that, mix the two together, do some dry brushing on top with that. I will then get leather brown and do a wash over the top of that. Then I'll mix all three together and maybe add some red to it. So I build up, but just using two actual skin colours of paint. Now, in the Vallejo brand, they had like six billion colours of paint. So what I did was I got a set, and I think it had six or eight colours of various skin shades. Whoops. Looking quite bright on the screen there, but so various colours. Uh, actually, that one's a yellow ochre. Okay, that's not a skin one. Uh, oh well, yeah. And Ben, thank you for getting me finally a yellow ochre because my current yellow ochre <laughs> is starting to get very difficult to squeeze out the tube. I've had this one for years. I have used all these paints come and go. I will use them for a few months, and they will either dry up because I leave the lids off while I'm working with them, or they will get contaminated because I'm dipping my brushes in. But after a few months, I'm like, you know what? I'll get some new paints and I just replace them. This one, this yellow ochre, that's a, it's an artist's tube of paint designed for painting, you know, canvases and stuff. I've used that yellow ochre for years. It's finally dying. And I mentioned that on camera and that's what got Ben to say, you know what? I will buy you some yellow ochre. Tell me what else you need. <laughs> so there you go. There is the yellow ochre. Um, but I got six or eight different colours of skin. Not that I intend to use all of them. I just wanted to find out, well, which ones of these are closest to the ones I use. And what might happen is that I will find, okay, let's say that one matches the tanned flesh one, and that one matches the pale flesh one. There you go. And I'll just carry on exactly as I always have. Or I might get all of the six or eight different flesh colors on my desk and start testing them, I may find a better way of doing something than the way I've been doing it. I don't necessarily want things to be easier. I like the fact that I mix my own colors. Um, it probably makes it more difficult to follow along with me, but also more satisfying when you get something right because you've used about four different colors to do a thing. And when it looks good, it's like, wow, I did that as opposed to, I will take that colour and paint with it. You've made your own thing. And that's very satisfying. But I might find that instead of using two colours to do everything... Wow, that music's getting loud all of a sudden. This happens every time I'm talking, the music just suddenly gets loud. I may find that instead of using two colours to do a certain thing, I may use two colours to start with a thing, and then later on use another colour for a different thing and there may be different ways of doing skin that I will discover along the way because it took me 11 years to get the techniques that I use now from these paints now I don't think it'll take me 11 years to carry on if you're still with me in 11 years well done <laughs> um, but it will be interesting to see how I can adjust things along the way and hopefully after I've done that one test series of paints where I've painted one thing from start to finish, it may be 10, 15, 20, 25 videos long. That's on average how long things take when I'm painting ahead, when I'm doing tutorial videos. Um, at the end of it, we will have an idea of how I can work with the new paints. 
I should have an idea of can I use the new paints to do the same work and then hopefully from that point onward I'll be able to go right I've done this one I'm quite comfortable with this now from now on I will do all my commissions with the new paints and for those who are watching all of those painting um, series on all those commissions on my Patreon you'll be able to follow along with your own paints that are exactly the same as mine no none of this what colors he's using i don't understand what's this mp paints i can't buy them anywhere <laughs> you'll finally have access to colors that i use and i know some of you use citadel some of you use other ones i can't remember the other brands i may eventually at some point get around to trying all of them i had to pick one this seemed to be the most popular i will start with this um if this works well then what i will be able to do is in my videos i'll be able to post links to the particular colors that i'm using so if anyone wants to like has just joined and wants to literally just start from scratch i'll be able to post links to the brushes i use to the paints i use and people can just literally buy everything i have and they will know that they've got the same stuff and they can carry on from there so it'll be exciting it'll be fun it's actually a little bit scary because I'm, I'm so comfortable with these paints now. I've used these forever. <laughs> 11 years is a long time to get to know how to use something. And all my commissions, all the results that I do now, the, the things that you've seen recently. And I'm, I'm very happy with the paint jobs that I'm doing in the last couple of years. They're, they're really quite good. I don't mind saying that because I look at them sometimes and I'm thinking, wow, did I paint that? And it surprises me. So anytime I get surprised, I think I'm doing something right. Um, but I'm quite happy with how they've looked. And to walk away from that, to make things easier for you guys, to walk away from that comfort and go, okay, well, there's these paints. They're all, all the colors are different and they're different thicknesses and I don't know how to use them, but okay. <laughs> it's a bit scary, but it'll be good and worth it, especially for the people on my Patreon who actually do paint things using my techniques it should be easier maybe okay i will go i will let you enjoy the rest of your weekend this should be going up on sunday so enjoy the rest of your weekend have a good week coming up i will see you guys soon ask me any questions you've got as always Join me on Patreon if you want to watch me painting things from start to finish and if you want explanations of what I'm doing while I'm doing it and if you want to be able to ask me questions and eventually when I can manage the time I will do live um, Google Hangout webcast painting you know, web chat conversations where we can talk about painting or films or whatever. I've done one or two of them and then I completely ran out of time. I need to make more time for those. But the, the people who are on my Patreon have access to those as well. If you're not on there, if you're on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook, hi, I'm still here. Uh, I will see you all around and we will carry on talking and it'll be fine. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying now. I'm just getting tired. So I'm going to go before I start saying even more nonsense than I am already saying. Have a good day, guys. Uh, look after yourselves. Look after all the people around you. Be nice to someone. I'll see you soon. Take care.